Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video I want to show you how to graph a function using the new chart editor in Google Sheets. So here we have Google Sheets open, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create two columns of data that correspond to my function. So I'm going to title one of those X and the other one Y, and I want to use a horizontal window that goes from 0 to 10, and I'm going to do increments of 0.5. So I'm going to start out with 0, click enter or click down to the next cell, put in 0 0.5. And once I've started this pattern, if I go ahead and click on cell A2, now while I'm holding my mouse button down, I'm going to drag to A3, release the mouse. So go ahead and grab that little fill bar there and drag it down. When I take it down to A22, you can see what happens. It's just created a series of numbers from 0 to 10 in increments of 0.5. Now what I need to do is go over to the second column and create the corresponding Y values. And I'm going to work with a quadratic function that is 0.25x squared minus 1. So I'm going to start by typing the formula in here. So I always start a calculation with an equals 0.25, use the star key for the times, and now instead of x, I'm actually going to use the corresponding value from my first series here, which is in A2. So I'll click on that. I'll do Shift 6, which is the caret button, to put in the power, 2, and then minus 1. Press Enter and it goes ahead and calculates the y value corresponding to that x value for the formula that I just put in. If I click on B2 again, grab the fill bar and drag that down, it's going to do that exact same calculation, but if I look at any one of these cells, instead of using A2 like I did before, it'll use A3, A4, A5, A6, all the way down to the very end when it uses A22. So I've gone ahead and created my data, and now I want to make a graph of that data. So I'm going to click on A1 while holding my mouse button down. I'm going to drag it down to B22. So I've selected my data, and now I'm going to go up to Insert and select Chart. And here's where things are new in Google. When I go ahead and create the chart, it also opens a chart editor on the right hand side here. Let me grab a hold of this chart and move it over a little bit. And now what I want to do is show you some of the things you can do using the chart editor. A lot of the time when you create some kind of chart here, what you see right here may not be the chart that you were expecting to see. Underneath data here, this tab right here, we can go ahead and change it to being something else. It usually gives you some suggested options, but there'll also be some other options down below here. Typically the ones that I use a lot of are this line chart that we have here and scatter plots. So once we're happy with that, and you see it's using row one as headers, because my first row were indeed headers, and it's saying use column A as labels, that's exactly what I wanted. I'm going to go over to Customize. And this is going to allow me to change all the different aspects, the colors, the backgrounds, and things like that. So let's go ahead and click on Chart Style. And one of the things I can do is I can change the background color. So I'm going to try maybe a light yellow to it. I can also change the fonts on the entire graph. I could change it to maybe Tahoma and I can smooth the graph it, if it has some jigginess to it um, and if there are pieces that are missing their value or cells that have no values in them I can say plot those but generally what you're going to be working with here are background color and your font let's go down to chart and axes titles one of the things I could do is change the title on this I could just say uh, graph of quadratic function or some other appropriate uh, title here hopefully spelled correctly 
Um, I could change the title font. I could change the title size. I could even go ahead and change the text color here if I wanted to put it in, say, red. So there's a lot of things you can do with the chart and axis titles. Now let's say we wanted to go down to the series here. Say you don't like the fact that it's doing a blue graph here. You could change the graph and make it in red also or any other color that's there. I could have it plot in a thicker line. And if I wanted to put some actual points on there, I could change it to a different size and also it plots with different shapes. But for me, I think I'm going to go with none here because I just want a nice smooth graph of my function. Let's go down to legend. You have some options for legend. Right now, here's my legend off to the right. And for a graph here with just one thing being graphed, perhaps I don't want any legend at all. I could click none. But it gives you options to put it in various other places. Plus, you can again change the font size, the format, and the text color. Down here we have the horizontal axis. And again, you can change all sorts of labels on these things and colors, but probably the thing that you might most be interested in is if you wanted to change the window. That's what the min and the max is here. So perhaps I'd want to go from 0 to 5 instead of 0 to 10. So in the minimum value, I'd put 0. The maximum, I'd put 5. Now just like I can change the window horizontally, if I scroll down here, you can see there's a place where I can also change it vertically. So instead of negative 5 to 25, maybe I might want to change it maybe negative 2 up to 6. One other thing I can do down here, you'll notice that it puts a grid on here. If I want to change that grid at all, I can go down and say, well, let's look at the vertical axis, or I could do the horizontal, either one. But if I want to put more grid lines on here, I could come down here and change my grid line count. So right now it looks like I have one, two, three, four, five grid lines. Let's say I wanted to go to nine. If I go to nine on this one, you can see it's putting them in more often. So I encourage you to go ahead and play with these things. Almost anything on this graph you can go ahead and change. And in fact, a lot of these things you can change simply by clicking on them and it'll open it up over here.